Welcome to Airheads. Coming up, heavy load. Roger explains why you need to weigh your pellets. 356. Solar powered pigeons. Kai has to be spot on to avoid making a costly mistake. We have hot air, we have air streaming. First, Buffalo Warrior. Jamie is working hard to protect soft cheese. We all know Jamie is a remarkable man. He's the shooter with no hands. He has a following on social media. And now on one of the permissions where he shoots, there's even a livestock tribute act. I'd say that was pretty spot on. Look at him. <laughs> We're cousins. These are water buffalo and they're competing for grass with rabbits. Jamie is not the only Field Sports Channel star they follow. Yeah, that one next to him is obviously David, right? That sort of swished back sort of intellectual. <laughs> back to the serious business in hand and what do we expect today? Um, it's about competing for forage. It's about also um, disease control to a certain extent. Um, not what, what do buffalo catch off rabbits? Well, uh, very cute faces, for example. Um, to be honest with you, I don't know. Um, again, that was just something Dagan told me yesterday, which I didn't quite understand. But for me, being able to control the rabbit population, obviously, which every landowner has to do by law, here isn't necessarily about culling the numbers or saving these wonderful things. It's about being able to take organic meat from here, half a mile over there, and give it to the pub, he then serve it as food. Jamie has designed a rifle rest that makes shooting for him much easier. For an awfully long time now, I have wanted to use a, uh, a bipod, um, but the weight for me personally, and in this case the fact that it's got no front stud, um, means that it's rather difficult for me. Pinging down the bipod or bringing down the bipod is also difficult. Um, yesterday, happened to be in B&Q, saw some pipe lagging of uh, however thick that is, um, and thought, well, if I just chop it in a few, in a few pieces and make a pyramid, absolutely stable as you can be, um, rest. Now, yeah, I can use that on a bench, I can use it lying in the field. Yeah, uh, fantastic. Then, just because I'm a bit of a show off in my own right, I put a carry handle on it, because obviously, for me, carrying stuff is an absolute nightmare. So, uh, I can skip off with my rather attractive pyramid handbag into the wide blue yonder. Jamie has his work cut out, outwitting rabbits here on the Hampshire Downland. At this time of year, with some of the grass cut, there are still plenty of places for them to hide. One stalk up a hedgerow yields nothing. The dyed in the wool BSA shooter has a long stalk in to get close to his quarry. He takes up the story. You and I saw the poor rabbit from about, what, 60 yards ago. Stalked into a, about 35 yards. And uh, had to do a lot of crawling around, I'm sure. You might have seen me rolling around in the mud. I wasn't just doing that for kicks, but then took a standing shot from that fence post there. Absolutely made up here with uh, with oh it's a madam. I believe we have madam here and uh, a sizable madam as well, isn't she? Jamie shoots BSA air rifles. For more about BSA, go to bsaguns.co.uk. Thank you, Jamie. I'll be enjoying my mozzarella with extra relish from now on. Staying on the theme of cheese, it's David. He's back with hot air. This is hot air. Don't buy and sell air guns in car parks. A man has been ordered to carry out community service after he took an air gun to Chessington World of Adventures car park to show to a friend. 53-year-old Gary Stewart from Chessington was spotted on CCTV showing off a Gamo Camo Rocket IGT Bull Whisper air rifle that a friend wanted to buy. Wimbledon Magistrates Court handed out a two-month community order and he was told to carry out 200 hours of unpaid work. Meanwhile, a Huddersfield man who accidentally left an air gun at a job centre was sentenced to a community order including 15 days of activities. Both air guns were destroyed. Are you an Air Arms fan? Well, its shop has gone live selling Air Arms merchandise. Pick up anything from a baseball cap to t-shirt to mug. Go to air-arms.co.uk. 
Hunter and Benjamin Pro staffer Les Bear Chase has won the 2014-2015 Airgun Hunter of the Year Award. Given to him by the Trophy Game Records of the World, he's been shooting big game animals with his Benjamin Bulldog 357 air rifle, including a black Hawaiian, Mouflon Corsican sheep, Jacob's Ram, and a Texas Dow, the Texas Sheep Slab. Jennifer McIntosh came ninth in the first European Games of the women's 10 metre air rifle. She missed qualification for the final by one place. Serbia dominated the event with gold medals in women's 10 metre air rifle and both men and women's 10 metre air pistol. Statistics show that air guns were used in 0.06 of crimes committed in Scotland in the last decade. Yet the air gun licensing system will force police to make up to half a million home visits if all Scottish air gun owners register their weapons. The stats about the crimes involving firearms in Scotland were inexplicably delayed but were published following pressure from Bass because the information is important for the forthcoming Stage 3 debate on the Air Weapons and Licensing Scotland Bill due to take place on the 25th of June 2015. Air guns are a theme of the CLA Game Fair 2015. It's being held at Harewood House near Leeds from Friday the 31st of July to Sunday the 2nd of August 2015. You can save 15% on the ticket price on the gate by going to bit.ly forward slash 2015 Game Fair. And finally, air gunning is a big hit in the Middle East according to Daystate. An air gun extreme bench rest championship took place in Lebanon in June. More than 150 shooters from across the country competed over 50 metres and 75 metres, with the winner of the 75 metre, Ahmed Dauk, using a Daystate Airwolf in 2-2. You are now to date with Hot Air, aiming for accuracy, targeting the truth. Thank you, David. Now from wind power to solar power, Kai has an unusual permission. Accuracy is key when you're shooting air rifles, but the pressure is on for Kai tonight as one wrong move could mean an expensive solar panel will be on the receiving end of a pellet. There's one thing we've got to be really careful about is we've got to make sure the rifle is, is bang on because we've got expensive equipment up there, we've got the solar panels and I do not want to be putting a pellet through those because our friend's not going to be very happy with me. The feral pigeons are not just roosting but nesting up here and causing a right old mess. Now we, I've been here before and I've had a couple using the Air Arms S410. So what we do, we wait till it gets dark, we go in the garden and we use a tree or a rest and we just get steady and just um, wait till it gets dark enough and we take out the pigeons. Neighbours are a consideration, so stealth is needed, which is why he's using Night Sight. Again, my trusty Night Sight that I'm using with the S410 TDR and it's perfect for this job. It looks like we have our first opportunity. quite far back in there, but I can get him. The rifle's really light, which makes it easy just to hold him steady. And with the night sight on top, I'm not putting my eye to it. It's just resting on top, which is easy just to hold there and take the shot. See that nest up there still. What's interesting, the homeowner believes that there is a, there's young in the nest. And every time we take a few out, they keep calling. There's more keep coming in to, uh, to mother and look after them. But we've now taken 18, 18 from the top here, which is quite a good number. They just keep coming in and keep coming in and keep coming in. Um, so the idea is we're gonna try and thin them out as much as we can, hook the nest out, and then he's gonna go and around the sides and stop them coming in, and then that'll, that'll be a job done. Another feral falls, and it's looking like we've had everything that's made the solar panels their home this evening. I was aiming for anything between the head, down on the spine here, air pocket at the back, anywhere in the, in the vitals. So we've got three pigeons tonight, it's getting dark now, I don't think any more is going to fly in. I'm quite happy with that. And the idea is we're going to chip away every, night, every other night or so, and try and get these numbers down. The rifle's done its job, we're happy, so I think it's time to go home now.
Shooting in an urban environment is always tricky. Kai has had to consider angle, accuracy, roof tiles and solar panels. And with some good shooting, the pellets all ended up in the right place. Thank you, Kai. Now from sun beating down to all right, my son, Roger's got the ABC of HFT. Right, pellet weighing. I've been very lucky in my life that I've had some really interesting jobs. This is not one of them. 356, but needs to be done. So, what we do is, first of all, you go on the eBay and you purchase diamond scales, that's 60 quid. I only wish I was weighing diamonds. So, the best thing to do with these is not do it here, obviously. You need it windless, because obviously they move. You need no electrical interference. A rail camera, you don't need that either. But what you do need is it nice and still, not a telephone next to it, not right by the television, because it can interfere, so they say. So, it's all zeroed and ready to go. All right. So, lovely, okay. Now I'm looking for anything in the 844 range. 846, brilliant, that's a keeper. Eight three five, a little bit low. So what we we'll do is we'll put that in that one. Told you it was interesting, didn't I? This one. Eight five five. No good, but we'll keep it. So this one. Eight four four. Perfect. These pellets are supposed to be. 8.44 grain. Anything for me, 8.4 anything is perfect, yeah? If it's 8.5, no. 8.3, no. If it's 7, oh no. We don't do that. Because the trajectory will change, yeah? Because it's a lighter pellet and it will, it won't go where it's supposed to go. 8.55, little bit heavy. I mean, you can use it for blinking, no problem at all. That's why I use, they'll be my match pellets. These will be the ones down here. But to zero the gun, to chrono it, I'll only use those ones. I will not use those because the variation of weight will change the reading on the chrono if I haven't shot it to pieces. Now, a lot of people use heavier pellets, 10.65 or whatever they are, yeah? So they, they go for the 10.6, 10.7, that sort of thing, yeah? But because they're 8.44 grains, on the tin it says it, therefore that's what I uh, weigh to. It, it's different strokes for different folks. Some people like an 8.55 8 because it's, got a little, it's a little bit heavier and hopefully they reckon that it will buck the wind a little bit better. Does it really? I don't know. For me, 8.44, that's what I go for. Or in the 8.4 range, as I say. Right, back to weighing these. When you're in a competition and a pellet goes low, you think, oh, is it me? Is it the wind? Is it this? Is it that? Well, you know it's not the pellet because the 8.44 that you've weighed is not the pellet. So it was you. It was you. It wasn't the gun. It wasn't the pellet. It was you. So. It just takes something out of the uh, equation. So that one, 8.36, that's a very light one. So we're well, not very light because they do get lighter. But out of this 500 pellets, I'll probably get 350 really good ones that are in the 844 range. And for me, that's perfect. But it's a real pain in the neck to do this, but worth it. Who on earth would enjoy this? I mean, really, it's so boring. Phil Price, he'd love it. Phil, you couldn't help me, could you please? Thank you, Roger. Now for more films about pellets and what to do with them, it's Airstreaming. Charlie Jacoby here. This is my roundup of the best air gunning on YouTube. Air Arms Hunting SA has been running a series in the last fortnight on long range shots with air guns. This is a 122 yard shot at a dove. 
Over on Field Sports Britain, we have been shooting pigeons with steel shot for Roy Lupton's peregrines. Now Vermin Hunters TV is shooting rabbits for the International Centre for Birds of Prey. Squirrel Hunter is doing what Squirrel Hunter does best, Squirrel Pest Control with Air Rifles. This time he is out with the Sniper Cam. Hampshire Air Gun Hunters is back on the corvids in this film. Something about the songbird nesting season gets air gunners riled up about those corvids. On to Air Gun Reviews and Air Guns of Arizona takes a look at the FX Wildcat Bullpup. Replica Air Guns examines the Webley Mark 6 455 CO2 shell loading BB revolver in this film. A simple idea for a film that could get a lot of views, here is airgunreview.tv's film How to Join an Airgun Club. And finally it is the Airgun Viral Film of the Month. Making a cool airgun is in Russian but it is currently getting hundreds of thousands of views. Click on the links to watch the videos or you will find them in this film's description. If you would like to send in a video for air streaming, ping me the link charlie at fieldsportschannel.tv. Well, thank you for watching. This has been Airheads. We're back in a couple of weeks.